Hi, I'm Carrie, Stroke Survivor and Bind member. And I'm Kezia, Brain Injury Survivor as well. Um, and welcome to episode six of Bind Waves. Today we're gonna do a brain cancer survivor and her name is Annette. She is our guest today and she is actually super motivated as a member of BIND and actually is active in the book club. So good morning Annette, how are you doing? Good morning Kezia, good morning Carrie, great to be here. So glad, so tell us a little bit about your story. So I was diagnosed with a brain tumor in 2020 and it was taken out and it's almost gone now. That's so good, that's so good. Welcome to Bind Waves, the official podcast of the Brain Injury Network of Dallas. I'm Brian White, Bind's Executive Director. On each episode, we'll be providing insight into the brain injury community. We'll be talking to members and professionals regarding their stories and the important role of Bind's Clubhouse. We work as a team to inspire hope, community, and a sense of purpose to survivors, caregivers, and the public. Thank you for tuning in to Bind Waves. Let's get on with the show. Um, so you. in 2020 is when you found out that you had brain cancer? Yes. And what were your like initial thoughts when you first found out? Initially, I was scared, but then I knew that if I became positive and stood up and faced it head on, I would be okay. okay. So Annette, how does brain cancer cause an acquired brain injury in ABI? It, because it takes over your brain and it makes it so, because it can affect your body and your thought and your memory. Okay. So just kind of like any other acquired brain injury, it's just you don't think about brain cancer causing an ABI. Yes. Okay, and then how do you think it's like different being here at BIND with, with other members of brain injury? Like we're here at BIND and, you know, like Carrie and I both have had a brain injuries. Um, we, we've both had a stroke, but how do you feel connected to us after having, you know, brain cancer? It's helpful to be around other people who have ABIs or TBIs because they can understand what you have and what you've been through and we can all help each other here at BIND. Oh, okay. Awesome. So I know recovery is a little different from cancer and just traditional old good old brain injury, but so where are you now in your recovery with your brain injury and your brain cancer? I know you said it's almost gone. Mm -hmm. Yes. So um, I've been through radiation and chemotherapy, and right now the only treatment I have is my Optune, which is a special treatment, only FDA-approved treatment that helps glioblastoma, brain cancer, and this is the only treatment I have right now. And I don't, I don't know if y'all can tell, but what's on her head is a little cap, and it has like little wire mesh, and it actually is pushing electrodes into her brain, which sounds like a ton of fun. <laughs> right? It sounds like it when you say it. <laughs> yes, and I like it because I can, I can go outside and walk, I can exercise, I can sleep, I can do anything with it. Yeah, that's awesome. Did it like become different when you first saw it or wear it or when they explained it to you, what you were going to be doing? Um, it was different. To think about wearing electrodes on your head is very different, but there's a very big support system for it. And so I felt good with it every time I've ever worn it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, after I, when I first heard about you having to wear that, it reminded me because I had to wear a helmet. Um, I had many surgeries, so I had to wear a helmet. And of course, my dad said it had to be purple because I'm bright like that um, and it was so hot wearing it I was just like this isn't fun wearing this but I think that you like wearing that and then you're enjoying it regardless of the situation mm -hmm. so that's good I love your smile thank you and it is hot too it is yes because it's hot <laughs> yeah I bet it is so mm -hmm. tell us a little bit about how you found bind and what you enjoy doing with bind um, I found bind through gray matters another support group because people also go to BIND through Gray Matters, and so I found it through there. And what's Gray Matters? Gray Matters is a brain tumor support group that um, helps people with brain tumors, and they meet month monthly. Okay. So do you think that anyone that has some kind of brain cancer um, has brain injury, or 
um, like what would it be different? I think last time we talked about it, we were explaining that it affects different, mm -hmm. like different parts of your body. Mm -hmm. so, so, so yeah, so not yes. all brain cancer causes a brain injury. Right, right. Okay. yes, yeah. Well, because you don't know until you talk to the people, you have to talk to the people to find out. Each person is individual. Right. So um, what, if you feel comfortable telling us, like mm -hmm. what is it that affected the brain injury for part of your function? Uh -oh. For me? Yes, yes, for you. So the injuries that I have or had were, I have peripheral vision on my left side. I can't see peripheral over here. And I've had some balance issues, but I've been working on that. So my balance is getting better. So I'm glad to hear that. So, and I think that was my next question. Like, where is your recovery going to or what, like how good are, where do you consider yourself in your own recovery? Um, I feel like I've made big strides and my recovery is going very well. Yeah. Well, Annette, you are a very, very positive person. You keep us all very motivated here at Bind. What can you share with us about that motivation and how can you encourage new brain injured survivors to stay motivated the way that you are? Well, I always say that you're not your injury. You do not need to worry about it. You just, every step you take is good. If you take one little step each day, it's good. Yeah, I love that you're always smiling. And I've actually, today is our first person that we're meeting in person. So even over like Zoom, how we've been doing, mm -hmm. you've been super positive, but you've, you've even told me that you're like, this has even before having the brain injury yes. and that your main thing was your faith, mm -hmm. right? Yes. So I think that's beautiful. Mm -hmm. And how do you wake up every morning? I wake up every day and I go outside and I thank God for the beautiful day and that I woke up again because every day is a gift. Yeah, great. I love listening to that. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. You're welcome, Kezia. So what are some of your favorite things to do when you're at the clubhouse? When I'm at the clubhouse, I like to help with Flourish, enter the attendance, and I also like to work in the art room. Okay. Mm -hmm. Very good. And I think it, it's probably the first time people hear like the actual things that you're doing at Bind, but what unit is that considered to be at this clubhouse? Right. Um, Flourish is considered, uh, is it business? I actually don't know. It's I think right now it's communications. Communications. Because communications mm -hmm. takes care of all of the internal parts mm -hmm. of what's mm -hmm. going on in the clubhouse. I mean, art is part of wellness. Yes. Oh, good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, good. So maybe some of your art is probably going to be hanging somewhere. It will be. I'm <laughs> about to do some, yes. Oh, awesome. 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 Is that con what you consider part of your recovery a little bit or A little healing? bit, yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, good. Good. Um, so... Is there something that you would like to be sharing to other guests? Um, because a lot of the times that the people that are listening to us are probably people that have never even known about bind, known mm -hmm. about brain injury, or have no idea what we're talking about. Is there mm -hmm. something that you would like to make sure that guests and listeners know about who we are, who you are? Mm -hmm. One of the things with when you have a brain injury is it can be very scary. So you want to find some place that can support you. So BIND is a place that can support you and help you, and there are people that can really help you. Awesome. And how long have you been with BIND now? Almost a year? I believe almost a year. Awesome. Yeah. And then um, I think, did you start the book club here, or how did you take over the book club? Um, I started doing the book club because they were looking for a member to lead the book club. So then I started being with the book club. So and I've like, loved it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What books, how many books have you guys read now? Uh, I think this is our third one that I've done. Yeah? Yes. Mm -hmm. That's amazing. Mm -hmm. I love that. I love that you're leading it as like a member of mm -hmm. Vine. You're taking, you've basically took over the leadership of it and... Yeah, I think that's amazing. Well, and that's what we try to encourage is for our members to lead BIND. I mean, it's, BIND is all about member-led and being here for the members and letting the members be in charge of not just themselves, but of the clubhouse as well. It's very fun to do. <laughs> I'm glad you're enjoying it. Yeah, same. Same here. Uh, is there something that you have never have tried or ha didn't even know about until you became a member of BIND? 
good question. Thank it you is a good question. <laughs> it's kind of a hard question. Like, really? Yeah. Yeah. Um, Being on a podcast? <laughs> that would be that. <laughs> yes. The first time? That's probably the number one thing. Yes. There you go. Uh-huh. Yeah. I think so. It's kind of fun having all these little cameras on you. Know? Oh, yes. <laughs> and I'm very happy to share my story. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Now, can you explain again what kind of brain cancer you have? Because, you know, I oh, I can't say it. Mm-hmm. So I'm not even going to try. Oh, yeah. Because yes. when I said it yesterday in our Zoom call, I sounded like Scooby-Doo. <laughs> <laughs> I have a glioblastoma grade 4, which is the most aggressive type of brain cancer. And you said um, the drummer of... The drummer of Rush also passed away from it. Well, okay. Because then when you said that, I was like, wow. Mm-hmm. It's kind of cool. We got something in common with the Brahma Rush. Yes. <laughs> Maybe not a good thing to be in common, mm-hmm. but. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but I'm not scared. That's good. At all. I'm not scared. Yeah. No. Mm-mm. I think some, you had also mentioned that your, your doctor loves calling you like a miracle. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> she does. She calls me a miracle. Mm-hmm. Yes. And I feel like one. <clears throat> That's yeah. beautiful. Mm-hmm. I love hearing it. I love mm-hmm. hearing your positivity and like all of that you've been saying. I feel like even though people may not be looking at us, I think that they would feel your smile for sure. Absolutely. Yeah, for sure. It's beautiful. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Uh, is there anything that we would like to, us to know about you or that you want to know about us? Um, Kezia and Carrie. Yeah. <laughs> well, actually, Kezia, I didn't know that you had a stroke, so that was new to me. Oh, really? Yes. I oh, didn't yeah. know that. Yes. Sometimes I forget, too. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yes. And purple's my favorite color. Ooh, twinsies mm-hmm. or triplets today. Uh-huh. <laughs> I know. Yeah. Yes. And I, I'm happy to meet both of you and to be with you here today to share my story. I'm trying to think if there's anything else. Um, Kezia, I didn't, do you just volunteer here at Bind? No, I'm also a member as well. I've been here a member for... I think in October it'll be three years. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and I met Bind through my um, the recovery that I was doing. I was at um, CNS mm-hmm. here mm-hmm. for uh, an outpatient therapist, and then or as an outpatient, and I got here because of the work readiness program, and then I became in love with Bind. And everyone that I've been meeting, it's been inspiring, mm-hmm. and it's like. The best way for me to get together was coming here. I feel like bind is my type of recovery. Yeah. Yes. So it's been mm-hmm. amazing. It's been amazing. But I feel like everyone's sharing their stories has been my form of recovery and motivation and inspiration and wanting to learn more. And like, yeah, about your the brain cancer that you had, I had no idea. I think I wrote down like three letters and I was like, I'll Google it later Mm -hmm. (laughs) because it's really, I have, I learned so much from every single person in here. Mm -hmm. The letters you can go by are G, B, M. Yes. Yes. And then you said four or uh, grade four. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I was like, okay, but it was so hard. (laughs) It is. It's better to learn from individual people. Yes. It is hard to say. Yeah. Could you explain a little bit more about that thing on your head, the Optune and the electronics and how it works? Sure. Um, This is my Optune device, and it has um, a battery in it, and it has cords that go all the way up to my head, and I have, um, I will take this off because this covers them up, and so I have arrays on my head that send electrical impulses to my tumor, when I had MRIs, it was mapped out where they should go, and so I put these on, and then this is how it kills the tumor. Now, it's also been FDA approved for lung cancer, so it can be for glioblastomas or for lung cancer, and so it's doing a lot of things. So is it shrinking the tumor or just completely killing the tumor, or so, is there a difference? Uh, what it does is it stops the mitosis of the tumor cells, so right now, they can't see it at all. Yeah. Not seen. Mm-hmm. That's amazing. That's awesome. Yeah. And when, yeah. when will they say it's gone, gone? It was the last MRI, so I have another MRI in like three weeks. And if it's gone there, then they'll switch it to where I go every six months. And I don't know if they'll ever say it's gone. Right. 
but right now you can't see it kind at of all. Kind of like a brain injury. It's never gone. It, but you can't see it at all. Right. Mm -hmm. and awesome. Do you know how long you have to wear it for? I wear it as long as I want to. Okay. So some people have worn it for two years, some people for three. My choice. Mm -hmm. oh, that's interesting. Mm -hmm. It's up to mm -hmm. you. Yes. So Very I heard cool. someone tell you something about your sticker. What does your sticker say on there? Uh, my sticker is your savior. Oh. And these are God's hands on me. And that's why I walk and talk and that God is taking care of me every day. Okay, cool. That's wonderful. Mm -hmm. And I think that you had something else to say about your, um, like right after your surgery. Oh, and so I was wondering, I was like, what did she have to tell us about her surgery? <laughs> so right before my surgery, I was smiling. And right after, after my surgery, I sent a picture to my friend of myself eating pizza. And my friend is like, why are you eating pizza right after you had a craniotomy? And I'm like, I don't know. I was hungry. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Who doesn't love pizza? Seriously. <laughs> right. Know? That's very good. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> that's cute. Yeah. Well, thanks for giving us all that valuable information. Yes, you're welcome. Maybe it'll help me win a trivia quiz one time. <laughs> yes. yes. Annette, thank you again so much for being our guest today. We thoroughly enjoyed learning all about you and your positivity, and we can't wait to see more of you. Thank you very much, Carrie. I've had a wonderful time. Yes, thank you so much. I loved all of your stories and all the information that you have given us, and I'm sure that all of our subscribers is going to be learning so much from you. Uh, so that was our fifth episode, and moving up is going to be our seventh episode, which is a TBI survivor story. So make sure to stay in and listen to us all over again. Thanks. Thank you. I'm Jeff. I had a brain tumor 20 years ago, and um, I would really like for you to buy some of these lovely cards, which are made by my members, and you could buy these cards. Visiting the website, find out our work, or come to the shop and, and come find and find that way. Hi, my name is Michelle, and I'm a traumatic brain injury survivor. It was five years ago Saturday when the accident occurred, and um, uh, one thing that's happened is I've had many friends and um, you know, just family and everyone contacted me and say, wow, you look great, you don't look injured, um, what happened? And that's when I tell them, actually, yeah, it was a traumatic brain injury and that's when the reality kind of, you know, has set in and they, um, you know, I tell them more and it is really real and, you know, the hard part has been more um, trying to move on as far as like job and just trying to, um, you know, have it all be the same as it was, and it's not quite there, but I'm trying day by day, and hopefully it'll, you know, all come back, but yeah, again, it's just, yeah, one, one day at a time. We hope you've enjoyed listening to Bind Waves and continue to support Bind and our nonprofit mission. We support brain injury survivors as they reconnect into the life, the community, and their workplace. And we couldn't do that without great listeners like you. We appreciate each and every one of you. Continue watching until next time. Until next time. Hello. We hope you are enjoying our podcasts. There are many ways for you to get involved in our work and support Bind's Brain Injury Network. Make a donation now at thebind.org. Shop the Bind store on our website. Become a Bind volunteer. Contact our team today to help make a difference in the lives of brain injury survivors. Don't forget, donate, shop, volunteer, and get involved.